Come on. Good deed for the day. Next one's getting skittled. Oh, maybe not. No, yeah, no, come on. Bloody hell. Anybody else? Blimey. You see, you've got a bit of stop. Comedy timing. You've got a bit of stop in the distance you can see. Don't trust that the senior. Now this is going to lead me to discuss something that I witnessed last night. Last night, I was in a rare position, as far as most people are concerned, to witness on CCTV a collision between a motorcyclist and a car at a junction. Now, we have a, a responsibility for ourselves as motorcyclists, as vulnerable road users. And the conversation was, who was at fault? Now, it's a traffic light, crossroads, okay? Motorcyclist right away, he's got a green. He's got a car coming towards him, indicating to turn right in front of him, to come across him. Turns right across the front of him. He hits it full on, probably 35, 40 k's an hour. Completely over the top, somersaults, lands on his back in the middle of the junction. Now, he's on a six day old Royal Enfield, which is the write off. He has got up, he's gone out of the way, he's managed to get back to his feet and get to the side of the road, etc. Ambulance has come, he's probably got a couple of days in hospital. Whose fault? Well, okay, legally we know whose fault it is. It's the car driver. But you've got to remember, like that situation back there with that Merc coming out of that car park. If he'd have come out on me, I've already spotted him. I would have been able to stop in the distance that I could see on my side of the road. That is what we're talking about. As that motorcyclist last night was going through that junction, had he spotted, had he been looking, now he's only in his early 20s, he's not massively experienced, can't be, because he hasn't got that many years on his bike. Seven? It's, at the most, maybe, but he clearly, if he was experienced, he didn't show it. Car coming towards you, did he, did he look for the indicator? And if so, did he back off thinking, has she seen me, has she seen me? Am I covering the brakes? Can I stop if she comes across the front of me? No, he actually didn't brake at all. There was no brake at all. He just went careering into her. There was no attempt to slow down or stop. Because it all happened too quick for him and he didn't take it into consideration. Not his fault legally, but partly his fault. He should have bloody seen it happening. It annoys me. And I had the conversation with colleagues because we've got the cameras. I'm not going to go into why, but we've we replayed it, and I'm not allowed to re to film it and show you. But you can imagine. And the conversation was, it was the woman's fault for coming across front of him. Yes, but nobody was laying the blame at the motorcyclist. And I'm sorry, but if you are a motorcyclist, you are as much you are as much responsible for your own safety as a vulnerable road user as anybody else is you can't rely on people seeing you and he did and he came up a cropper you know and he fully somersaulted and he landed in, on his back in the middle of the junction he immediately got up and then laid back down again went, oh shit this doesn't feel good laid back down again cars all over the place just no thought so the route Look, you've got to look after yourself. We've got a responsibility to check everywhere, look at everything. Like this here. Car behind me. Is he going to stop? He's going into the right hand lane. But you've got to be watching for stuff like this. There's nobody behind me now. Now, I could change lanes, go down the middle here, and get myself into a position 
down the centre as a protection but I'm always watching I don't need to I'm not gonna I'm actually also here to be a good example as a motorcyclist like at the beginning of this clip today making friends with people improving what people think of motorcyclists we've got a responsibility for it and we've got a responsibility for our own safety and we've got to be shown to be better than the next person the next person in the car everybody's angry in cars because they're stuck in traffic getting frustrated whereas we are doing our hobby we should be smiling we should be happy we should be nice to people and we should also be looking after our own safety and not getting angry at people because they cut them up or you know because like this here this Merc oh it's all happening look this little black Yaris you know nobody was going to give him a gap she's still going across yeah she is but you know let people across be nice to people and they'll be nice back to you and that will also therefore then get people talking about motorcyclists in a positive way and also increasing our I suppose our presence in people's minds and that's what we're talking about we are important and we don't want to be seen as antagonistic on the road we want to be seen as a positive influence and that might mean letting somebody across letting somebody out of a junction it might mean letting a pedestrian cross in front of you and that way when you do a bit of that people are not going to have a go at you they're going to go oh yeah bikers are pretty cool he's not going to slow me down I'll let him through leave a gap to let him filter etc anyway Hope you're all well, ride safe, and we'll see you on the next one.